it's the grand final edition of the Barrel Boys. We're lucky enough to have a few uh, beers here as well. It's uh, The other guys didn't get a chance to do that. But uh, Ryan, firstly, grand final week. What's it like knowing that you're in a, in a grand final? Oh, it's pretty good. Like, it's, you just soak the whole week up. It's mm. just, you know, the open training, you get all the fans because they never ever turn up to training usually. <laughs> it's always dead quiet, isn't <laughs> dead it? Dead quiet, then you get a few people and go, oh, something, something's <laughs> going on. There's a few extra cameras. So, yeah, look, it's good. You just enjoy the whole week and you know all that hard work. It's, and you know, yeah, there's one more game to go, so you can sort of build everything up towards it and yeah, just enjoy it, I think. Louis, there's always that scramble after the prelim final, making sure you, I guess, you're not injured and you, you want to get yourself checked off so you're right to go, isn't there? Yeah, no, spot on, Bolti. I think after you sort of build, your, build yourself up for a big prelim, win that and it's about focusing on to the next week and I think this week it's it's pretty important that the young guys actually bring it back down to earth and treat it as another game because I remember um, and you guys would have been the same you still go through all those different emotions the nerves um, sort of the energy energy of the crowd and the build up and the parade and things like that two different prelims though Ryan I guess uh, Hawthorne have had this one right down to the wire against Port Adelaide Swans it was probably over uh, pretty early on yeah. against North Melbourne yeah, half first yeah exactly <laughs> so I mean do you, do you subscribe to you need to have a tough run lead in or do you, do you prefer a bit of a fresher run in oh look at it it's, last, it's the last game you just throw everything at it regardless of what the previous games are whether you've had an easy season or whatever it doesn't really matter um, just with Hawthorne I think they had a few guys down and they still got over the line I just can't see those guys having another bad game in a row so I think they'll be they'll be up and about and what's your memories I guess from uh, I guess 05, 06 and 2012 what were, you, what were your feelings about I guess the weeks leading in that whole time yeah they were probably different stages of it Career, Our yeah. careers really so young in five and you sort of just enjoy it as a young kid <laughs> and bubbling around. yeah bubbling around and then in 12 a bit older and sort of a bit wiser and then soaked it all in and yeah i, I don't know they're just they're just different but that's the same sort of mm. so you just make sure you just enjoy it and get everything organized i think things early in the week you're trying tickets. to organize tickets and c- c- family accommodation flights and all this sort of stuff so trying to get that knocked over as soon as possible mm then turn your phone off about Tuesday, I think, otherwise you just get bombarded. What yeah. about uh, some of the young guys? There'll be some nerves going this week, surely, like Harry Cunningham and uh, Jake Lloyd and those sort of guys? Yeah, no doubt there will be. Look, I'm really excited for them. Um, I mean, the first grand final, it's a huge occasion. Mm. You know, it's the pinnacle of the sport. You want to get in there, you want to sort of play well and you want to win. But, I mean, these guys, um, they've done all the hard work mm. throughout the year. They've put in the hours, the dedication, the training, the early morning sessions, things like that. You just want to get out there and play, and that's the thing. Probably they'll play the game in their minds over and over and over again. So come grand final day, you know, they're just going to get out there and throw everything they've got. They've got some serious experience around them though. Guys have been there, been there and done it. Adam Goods, is this his last uh, last game possibly? I don't know, and I think that's Adam's choice and let him make his choice. But if, you, geez, if they won it, it'd be a pretty good way to go out. Uh, that's why I would like to come yeah, out. Yeah, but anyway. exactly, exactly. <laughs> now, but both both of you are actually going around on the on the ground in the in the uh, cavalcade. Yeah, that's oh, that's going to be great. Look, I think it's a great opportunity. Swans fans are there, which is going to be going to be pretty awesome. So we should get a pretty good cheer, I think. Yeah. I was lucky enough to do it last year, and it was you know there was Hawthorne Frio supporters, and they're still you know giving you a really big cheer. So you guys will really enjoy it. It should be a pretty good moment. You're going to be uh, driving. I'll, I'll ride shotgun. You should. <laughs> <laughs> Out the window. No, you, don't, you don't have to drive yourself. It's okay. It's all right. Um, in terms of matchups, do you, what are some of the key matchups, I guess, against Hawthorne? What are the, what are some of the things you see? Look, uh, I think, um, I mean, first and foremost, you've got the midfield battle. Um, if, if Mitchell and Kennedy go head to head, that'll be a pretty pretty interesting matchup. But then, um, I mean, up forward for the Hawks, you've got Ruffett, and who takes Ruffy? Whether it's Teddy, whether it's uh, Reggie. Mm-hmm. Or possibly even Rampy, depends on, on where he moves around the ground. Gunston, Bruce, and Ruffhead, they're pretty, you know, tough, I guess, tough to match up on, aren't they? Yeah, look, I think it's going to be the, the battle of the defences. Whose mm-hmm. defence holds up the best is probably going to win the game. Mm-hmm. I think both four lines are very potent, um, and their midfield is pretty even, evenly matched. It's just whoever's defence on the day can, can stem that. Big momentum shifts in grand finals always, that confidence. You need to keep your confidence up the whole time. The confidence up the whole time. Yeah, just. Yeah. Just if things go, don't go to plan or a few things go wrong, just, just stick at it. I think that's the, the key. Just, just don't give up and just keep going. It just, just back yourself and don't, if you make it blue, who cares? Just get on with it and can't do much about it. I think that's, that's the key to it. Don't everything's, everything's magnified though, isn't it? Like every little moment, like a little just a knock on. There's been some important moments in previous grand finals. Just guys being desperate at the right times. 
Spot on. Look, I think um, effort and intensity is pretty important going to this game. You talk about pressure, you talk about contested footy. I mean, in 2012, Pebs, how many tackles did you have and how many pressure acts? You were setting the benchmark for us. Yeah, yeah, 15, yeah. yeah. And that, that's what it is. It's just those little things, those little mm. knock-ons, little tackles, just those momentum shifters or changes. That I think that's what makes the game. Um, it's, you know, obviously, the guys that kick a few goals and stuff, it's good. But I think that, that hard stuff that you don't get really rewarded for or in, on the stat sheet that makes a difference. Do you just go out there and just soak it up? Like I, I remember we just obviously used to get out there very early before the pre-game entertainment, sort of looking at the stands, taking it all in and then just focus on the footy? Yeah, I think so. Once balls bounce, it's just, you just lock in and you sort of just, everything around just gets sort of blurred out a bit and you just concentrate on the job at hand. Yeah. I remember that's what Ruzi said before 05. He pulled sort of Schneid, uh, Shawnee Dempster and myself aside, we were young guys, and he said, look, First warm up, just enjoy it, soak it up, look at the crowd, um, enjoy the atmosphere, um, and just relax. And that was probably a good calming influence over us. And Johnny Longmire has been named uh, Coach of the Year. It's a uh, it's pretty pretty uh, wonderful effort. Yeah, obviously the minor premiers have had a pretty dominant final series. He's, he's, he's done a great job, and a second time in three years, I think it is. It's, it's a great effort. Yeah, I think some of the things like even getting Cunningham to do a tag and roll the last couple of weeks, Harvey and um, you know Stephen, uh, Hill before that. So there's been some pretty you know good good little decisions along the way. Yeah, I think the team at the moment there's so much versatility in, in a few of the players. You've got Gary Rowan that can go forward and back, um, throw Rudy into the mix. He can go forward back, pinch it in the ruck. Um, and then you've got blokes like Harry Cunningham who can play as a, a running offensive weapon, but then he can lock down whether it's a Hill or potentially this week, I don't know, maybe a Bruce or something like that. Um, so that's where the team has really added another string to their bow. How many is Buddy going to kick? There's all that talk about, uh, I guess, not hitting the mark against Hawthorne. What's he going to kick this weekend? Uh, I don't know. It depends if he's straight or not. <laughs> he'll, he'll have a few shots. Um, I reckon he'll, he'll at least have six shots on goal. What the conversion is, yeah. we'll wait and see. I mean, I think probably hoping for a 5-1. Yeah. 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 Nice. Um, I think against the Hawks, um, since he's been a swan, he's kicked five goals 12, so hopefully he can reverse that and kick 12 goals 5. Yeah, yeah. That'd be nice. 12 goals 5. <laughs> he's certainly been Good generating a lot, of, a lot of shots on goal. Yeah. And, and I guess that's pressure up upfield as mm. well. There was, I think there was 27 marks inside 50 on the weekend um, against North Melbourne. So it's not going to be that, that same mm. uh, this week. And, yeah. Always Gibson's one who just gets his hand in. He seems to have a yeah. always a big game against the Swans, so it should be interesting. And Brian Lake, um, the reigning Norm Smith medalist, Pebs, you know all about that. I um, mean, it's big games. So you've got to perform in those sort of big games, and and Lake might do the same. Yeah, I think just you go out there not trying to be the best player. Just go there and play a role. I think Lake last year, he's that spare job back and played his role perfectly and ends up doing it. And I think that's what you got to do. Just go out and do, do what you can do. and. and and bring your strength to it, and not worry about all the other stuff. So, boys, tips. What are we? What are we tipping? Um, I can't get past the Swans. I'm hoping five goals. Margin, yeah, five goals. Five goal margin. That'd be nice, um, and hopefully be up at f by five goals at three quarter time. So there's a bit of breathing space there. <laughs> but uh, Norm uh, Smith. Norm Smith. Um, I think off the back of last week, you can't get past Buddy or Lukey Parker. Yeah. What, do you, what about you? Yeah, I'm gonna be a bit closer. I reckon with within a couple of kicks, like 10 points or below, and that's what the margin will be for Swans. Yeah, look, he's, Parker's finals form's been pretty good, so I think he'll carry it on. It's whether who, Langford, whether they go to Joey or, or Parksy. Um, yeah, I think he's gone to Joey the last few yeah. times, but I think Joey's, Joey's hard, been- Joey's hard to tag, He's he, been mate? too big and in, inside, so I reckon they might try something different and maybe go Parksy, so it wouldn't mm -hmm. surprise me if uh, Joshy Kennedy gets an answer. Um, yeah, for me, I, yeah. I think probably yeah, Swans by about 15 points. I don't know. I, I've been tipping probably Lukey Parker for uh, Norm Smith, but uh, you know, you, you love to see someone like a Benny McGlynn and uh, go well. Obviously, missed out on the final series in 2012, and um, yeah, I think probably Lukey, Lukey Parker at this mm. stage. Uh, yeah. Hey, um, does anyone know who's representing the Swans in the grand final sprint? I don't know. Who's no, I've got no idea. They used to. <laughs> Who? Robbo. Robbo. Oh. Robbo. Jeez, he's as fast as me. <laughs> <laughs> he's, just, he's just taking the money. Yeah. You've got to make the final to get the money these oh, days in the grand final sprint. So. <laughs> right, just no, a few we'll... faster bikes than that. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't do a pikey and slip at the start. Uh, yeah, there could be a couple of guys who are dual premiership players this weekend and possibly a, a, a triple uh, premiership in, in Goodsy. Yeah, it's look, pretty, pretty amazing, it, isn't it? It, it yeah. is, it is. And, and you can't go past... Um, 
just who good he is as a person. Like he's a fantastic footballer, but he's a fantastic person as well. And, and look, if he was to win a third premiership, I think um, he certainly does deserve it. Hmm. What about guys like Jared McVeigh and uh, I guess Kieran Jack leading leading the side into, the, into this weekend? You can't get um, two better leaders than those two guys. They, they, they really do lead from the front with their actions, but then off the field, they, they certainly are great motivators and, and they really do the team things well. Well, boys, we wish you good luck around the uh, the motorcade. Enjoy the day. We wish the Swans well and, and obviously just a great grand final. It should be a cracker. It'll be good. Cheers, boys. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Good on you.